Hey there everyone, coming up next on your 24 News Brief. The Italian premier was hospitalized on Sunday. The search is on for two missing climbers at Mount Hood. And the weather creates a huge accident in Shelton, Connecticut. We'll have a live report ahead. And is Tiger Woods quitting golf forever? Those stories and more are all up ahead on your 24 News Brief that starts right now. Hey there everyone, I'm Marcus Roon. It's December 14th, 2009, and these are your headlines in your 24 News Brief. The Italian Premier was hit in the face on Sunday while he was signing autographs in Milan. The 73-year-old leader now has a broken nose and a bloodied mouth, according to the AP. Police said the 42-year-old man was accused of attacking the Premier was immediately taken into custody. The Italian leader was rushed to a hospital where, where he was held overnight. The rescuers are now looking for two missing climbers after finding a third dead on the slopes of Oregon's Mount Hood. But the search is on, but it has slowed right now because of the threat of avalanches. The hikers began their climb at about 1 a.m. on Friday. Authorities received a call that they were missing at about 10 p.m. on Friday. Authorities followed what they believed to be the path that the climbers took on Saturday, but they found a body of one of the hikers. He was identified as 26-year-old Luke Gullenberg of Washington. Big story right now out of Shelton, Connecticut. Nino Napolitano has the details of a horrible accident. Thanks, Marcus. That's exactly right. Earlier today in Shelton, Connecticut, a huge 50-car pileup crash occurred in that town, Shelton, Connecticut. 50 cars were reportedly involved in this huge car accident. Now, what may have caused all these cars to crash and tangle and mangle with one another is the fact that there was some very bad weather. You may be able to hear, if I quiet down for just a second, that it is raining slightly here outside of our news bureau here where I'm reporting from in Woolcott, Connecticut. So that rain really uh, was turning into freezing rain earlier today. It turned into freezing rain. Now it's rain. It was freezing rain earlier and that freezing rain caused some very slick conditions causing over 50 cars to pile up and tangle with one another and crash and it was a huge 50 car jam. Now we do have some minor injuries to report. 46 people involved in that crash had minor injuries. Six of them were taken to local area hospitals and most of them are reported to be in uh, good condition at this evening. That road opened up a very short time ago. It was closed for many hours today and it was a huge accident, a huge mess on the roadways closing many area local roads in that town of Shelton, Connecticut. That is the latest from here. Reporting tonight outside of our 24 News Bureau in Wolcott, Connecticut. Nino Napolitano, 24 News Now. Thanks for that, Nino. Tiger Woods says that he will take an indefinite break from professional golf to cope with an ongoing fallout caused by the scandal currently surrounding him. He says, I am deeply aware of the disappointment and hurt that my infidelity has caused to so many people, most of all my wife and children. He wrote late Friday on his official website. I want to say again to everyone that I am profoundly sorry and that I ask forgiveness. It may not be possible to repair the damage that I've done, but I want to do my best to try, he said. After much soul searching, I have decided to take an indefinite break from professional golf, Woods wrote. I need to focus my attention on being a better husband, father, and person, he said. And in your thought for tonight, think about this one. Don't worry about the world coming to an end today. It's already tomorrow in Australia. That's all for this week's 24 News Brief. You are now up to date on what's happening right now. As always, stay with 24newsnow.com for all your news in one place. I'm Marcus Roon. Have a great week, and I'll see you later.